How's it going everyone? Finally, welcome back to Project Demigod, also known as the best Spider-Man VR game. So it has been a minute since I played this shit, as you can tell by the fact that there is now a gun sitting here on the table that I've just now grabbed it and I can shoot it. Wow. That's pretty cool. Level Up Hero, the developer of Project Demigod who I've been talking to back and forth, has been a very busy man. He's put out like three or four updates for this game and there is a ton of new stuff here. So I'm gonna be checking it out right now. All right, welcome to Training Grounds, my favorite map in the entire game. There are a few new ones that we're going to check out soon, but right now we're gonna start off here. So first thing that's new is that if we go in here to avatar settings, there is actually a bunch of avatar customization settings now. So we can actually edit our avatar to look like Spider-Man. I'm not gonna waste your time by laboriously going through all this. So within two seconds, I am going to magically change my outfit to look like Spider-Man. And I have now somehow created some strange Spider-Man persona out of the avatar customization tools, but we've got these awesome like animated textures going on. These new materials were just added in the new update that came out like two days before I recorded this. So this is fairly new, but as you can see, there is a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of things you can play around with and uh, you can create your own sort of look. Okay, well, without further delay, let's get into the actual gameplay side of things. So let's bring out the web power set here. First thing you'll notice, there's actually some new crosshairs too. They're slightly different than the original ones, which are just kind of like circles. But first thing you'll notice is, look at that. We've got new animations on the web, so they look a lot more realistic than they previously did. One thing that has been changed, I know for a fact has been changed, is that the webs are now a lot stronger, so you can actually manipulate the objects in the world around you with a lot greater ease. Let's try this boulder over here. How well can we manipulate this? Oh, look at that. Wow, yeah. wonder if we can, like, punch it. Do we have any sort of, like, spider strength going on? Holy crap, I did break it. Let's go. That's so cool. So you can actually break this stuff now. It seems like the spider power set as a whole has been given more, like, super strength. But yeah, so we've got a buff on the actual strength of the webs. So we can manipulate the objects in the world a lot easier now. And I just put a hole in that building. Oh god. So next up we have some movement changes that have happened over the past couple updates. So we're going to be going to Millennium City to show these ones off. So the first thing that we've got that's new in the movement department is something that was actually covered quite extensively in Finale, and that is a flipping system. Okay, so to activate these flips, you're going to want to go into settings and then go to movement settings here. And then you can tick this box here to actually just let you use the acrobatic system. And then you've got a couple different options here. With this one, I'm assuming, yeah, enables the ability to perform acrobatics while in hover mode. So that's for like the Superman power set, I guess. And then this one, which is actually new with the update, um, to allow you to do continuous acrobatics. So before you would just do one flip and then stop, but now you can have it be a continuous sort of thing. And then this one lets you change the um, timer on how long there is between flips. So right now it's 0.8 seconds for a full rotation. I think we'll keep it at that just for now. But once you get out of there, what you wanna do to actually do the flips is you jump up and then double tap on the, uh, holy shit, double tap on the, uh, on the right joystick. Whoa, shit! Oh my god. Now we can start swinging. Never mind, I didn't have my web shooters out. And... Whoa. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, I forgot to mention, you can do side flips as well, I think. So you like lean in the direction you want to flip, and then it'll flip you that way after you uh, use the joystick like you would for a front flip or a back flip. So let's try and do it around this corner. It's kind of worked. Superhero landing, can we land it? No. And... No, oh, that actually worked. Holy crap. Well, you know what? While we're on the wall here, we can actually do the next thing that's been added in, the next movement setting. So, here's something, right? I tried my absolute hardest to make sure I mentioned everything about this game in the, in the, in the, in the Demigod section in Spider-Man Hunt Finale, right? But I still missed one thing. And that thing is quite important. It's, uh... Well, it's this. Yep, 
you can fucking run on walls. Now listen, the wall running wasn't always the way it was when I just showed you then. So it used to kind of just be, you press the A button while you're next to a wall, you'd stick to it pretty much, and then you could just run around. But in the most recent update, Level Up Hero has actually changed it, and it was actually something I recommended to the uh, Under the Mask developer when I was reviewing their game, that you could have your view actually shifted as if you were on the wall. And that is exactly what Level Up Hero has done, if I can get onto the wall here. Yep, it works absolutely as intended. This is not nauseating whatsoever. Can we pull ourselves along? That'd be like, holy ca we can, we can. Oh my God, yes, yes. Level up hero, level up hero, you're fucking nuts, man. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, like, come on, really? Wait, can I hang upside down? Holy shit. I just saw something. If I can hang upside down, level up here, I was out of his fucking mind. Holy shit! I can fucking hang upside down, dude. Level up hero! Let's check out the two new maps because there are some new, like, turret things, and apparently there's fucking missiles that you can web and redirect. So I definitely want to check that out. So let's go do that now. Oh god. Are these the new turrets? I think they are. I don't know if I can block these things. I know I can, like, can, I, can I jam? Holy shit! Oh my god. Okay, I can blow these up. That's good. That's what we need to know. Okay, next room. That was fucking awesome. I need to find out where these bloody turrets are with the, uh, with the missile launches. That is going to be sick. Are these the missile launchers? I believe they are. Holy crap! Okay, can I web this? I just, I just punched a missile, that makes sense. Can I web it though? That is so cool, I can. Oh, I got one! I got one! I got two! Okay, can I like redirect them at something? Please let me. Into this car. I think that hit me. Um, cool. Oh. Alright, is this the final room? Oh, surely this is it. God damn, we got the nano cyborgs. I have no idea how I'm gonna fight this nano cyborg in here. Right there, mate. Oh god. Um, sir, I think he might be gone. All right. Well, he disappeared. He surrendered. I guess I win. Hooray for me! That was a fucking sick battle, though. Fighting upside down is fucking crazy. I love that so much. The authentic Spider-Man experience, dude. And that'll wrap up our revisit of Project Demigod for today. This has been fucking sick. I really enjoyed this. I hope you did too. So if you did, subscribe to the main channel. But for now. I'll see you later.